I've been working on this mountain biking simulation using Python's PyMonk physics engine. It is a work in progress, and I'm still fixing some bugs. I have been working on the terrain, and I'm going to have the test rider named Gyro go off some drops of various heights. For the small drops of only 300 millimeters, Gyro does not even need to lean back or do anything. He can ride down the drops but it does work better if he's leaning back to keep his weight on the back wheel, and then he can roll them. Oops! For bigger drops like 600 millimeters, Gyro needs to shift his weight backwards, but it's still not terribly stable. It works better if Gyro shifts his weight back right as he goes over the drop. Pushing his weight back is basically the same thing as pushing the handlebars out. And so it works even better if he pulls the bars in right before he goes over the drop and then pushes the bars out over the drop. We can look at this in slow motion and see the exact moment when his weight shifts back and bars go forward. We can compare Gyro's position to video from a real rider. In this example, Gyro shifts his weight back and down a little bit earlier than the real rider. While in the air, their positions match up quite well. Gyro also seems to take a little bit harder landing, sagging back and down a little more than the real rider. For larger drops like 900 millimeters, the pull in and push out technique only works if the speed is high enough or the timing is impeccable. Gyro also experimented with a technique where he stands tall up over the bars and then pushes the bars forward uh, while he moves his weight down. I think this works because he's able to pull the back wheel up and over the drop. Okay, the drops are getting bigger. And for the 1.2 meter drops, Gyro tried to perfect a bunny hop technique. It works okay sometimes, but it is very sensitive to timing, especially if Gyro catches that back wheel on the lip of the drop. Since Gyro is born only a few meters from the first drop, he doesn't have enough speed to clear these larger 1.5 meter drops. So he and I worked out an upgrade where I give him a motorized pedal assist the right moment so he can clear the drop. Moving up to a 1.8 meter drop is too much for Gyro and his arms and legs break under the load. And sometimes when Gyro crashes, the simulation crashes too. <laughs> 